In today's podcast, we'll look at the ballad The Cruel Mother, a tale of an unmarried mother, murder and remorse. We'll look at its known printing history, visit some of the tunes associated with the ballad and see the changing attitudes as the song passes down the years. There was a lady that lived in York All alone and alone She proved a child by her own father's clerk down by the greenwood side, yo. She bent her back against the thorn, all alone and alone, yo. There she had three little babes born, down by the greenwood side, yo. She pulled out her long pen knife, all alone and alone, yo. And there she took her way, their sweet lives, down by the greenwood side, yo. This tune and words were noted from the Birmingham singer Cecilia Costello in 1951. A young woman is unmarried and pregnant, sometimes as a result of a long affair with her father's clerk. She goes off into the woods and gives birth to her babies, usually twins, but sometimes one child or triplets in some versions and kills them by stabbing them through the heart with a penknife, and she buries the bodies to hide the evidence that she's not a virgin. She makes an effort to prevent their souls from returning by binding their feet with ribbon, or her hair, or wrapping them in a mantle, and burying the bodies under a marble stone, or out of the light of the sun. Later, as she walks by the castle walls, or stands at the church entrance, she sees two, sometimes three children, playing at ball. She tells them that if they were her children, they would be dressed in the finest clothes and she would love them. The children tell her that she is their mother, and she did not treat them well, but murdered them and buried their bodies. They had returned from heaven to tell her that she will have to pay for her crime. Some versions start with the meeting with the babies, and refer to the crime only in retrospect, and some versions list the punishments to be endured in the afterlife. This very popular and widespread ballad seems to have appealed to singers at several different levels. The horror of the murder of the children, the regret and sorrow felt by the mother, and the confrontation with the ghosts of the children all make a heady plot and a dramatic impact. The ballad has been collected throughout the British Isles and North America, and on the whole follows the same textual framework. The earliest known printing of this ballad is in a 1684 broadside under the title The Duke's Daughter's Cruelty. There's no record of the tune used for this early broadside print. As with other ballads, the song was first collected in Scotland under the mistaken belief that ballads were all Scottish. They did not usually collect the tunes. The first version from a traditional singer is an incomplete fragment printed in David Hurd's Ancient and Modern Scottish Songs in 1776. The first published tune appeared in Johnson's Musical Museum in 1792 under the title Fine Flowers in the Valley. It was supplied by Robert Burns. This tune remains popular and often sung and goes like this. As she looked out o'er the castle wall, fine flowers in the valley, she saw two naked boys playing at ball, and the green leaves they grow rarely. Oh, bonny boys, if you were mine, Fine flowers in the valley, I dredge you in the silk so fine, and the green leaves they grow rarely. Oh, mother dear, when we were thine, fine flowers in the valley, you did not prove to us so kind. And the green leaves they grow rarely. Annie Gilchrist discusses the refrains of the ballad in the Folk Song Journal for 1919. She thinks that Hay with the Rose and the Lindy, or Lindsay O, might link back to the Danish version of the ballad, and is a corruption of Rosenlund, or Rosewood, which literally refers to the Greenwood, a recurrent site within the ancient ballads. The English ballad first refrains tend to have the all alone and alonio refrains and variants. Most of the versions of the ballad retain the second refrain down by the Greenwood sideo, 
regardless of its country of origin. Of course, there are some variations that, that do not meet the generalisation. As she sat in her father's hall, all alone, alone, she saw two pretty babes playing a ball down by the greenwood side. Oh, babes, oh, babes, if you were mine, all alone, alone, I would dress you in the scarlet fine down by the greenwood side. Oh, mother, oh, mother, we once were thine. All alone, alone, you did not dress us in scarlet fine, down by the greenwood side. The tune for that version was collected by the Hammond Brothers in 1907, from Mrs Case of Sidlin St Nicholas in Dorset. The time span between the death of the newborn babies and their reappearance is unclear. In some versions it seems almost immediate, yet they can talk and play at ball. On seeing the ghostly forms, she tells them she would dress you in the finest silk and feed you with flour bread and wine. Yet the revelation that the children are her murdered babies is accepted without any question and without any sense of surprise. Whilst making their accusations, the babies do not talk of revenge, but explain that a place is held for them in heaven and that the mother would have to atone for her crime after death by going to hell. Some versions incorporate verses common to the maid and the palmer, a similar tale of infanticide. The verses tell of the punishment that the mother will endure when she dies, seven years as a fish, seven years as a fowl in the wood, etc. Because of the age and popularity of the ballad, the tune variants are plentiful. The ballad is often sung as a gleeful murder ballad, when one looks at the words and the tone of the older versions of the ballad, it is full of regret and sadness. One can see the ballad, in psychological terms, of deep regret and self-loathing felt by the mother at her crime against her children. Annie Gilchrist collected a children's circle game version of the song from a young girl in Southport, Lancashire, under the title A Lady Dressed in Green. She had taught the circle game to her fellow classmates and it was published in the Folk Song Journal of 1919. There was a lady dressed in green, fair lever light, oh, she had a baby in her arms, down by the greenwood side, oh. She had a penknife in her hand, fair lever light, oh, she stuck it in the baby's heart, down by the greenwood side, oh. She went to the well to wash it off, Fair a lair a light, oh, the more she washed, the more it bled, down by the greenwood side, oh. The song disperses with the ghostly visit. The mother stabs the child with a little penknife, ending with the murderess being captured by the police and hung for her crime. Whether this came about as a real crime that lent itself to the ballad text is difficult to say. The most well-known version in current circulation of this is Wheelie Wire which owes its popularity to the singing of the Dubliners and can often be heard sung by Irish bands in Irish theme pubs. Depending on which version of The Cruel Mother you choose to sing, it can be sung as a tragic ballad or a jig-like children's song. This makes a very adaptable song for different occasions. I'll end this podcast with a full version of The Cruel Mother using the tune collected by the Hammond Brothers in 1907 from Mrs Bowring, of Sir Nabus in Dorset. There was a lady lived in York, all alone and so lonely. She was courted by her father's clerk, and it's down by the greenwood sidey. He courted her for seven long years. All alone and so lonely, at last she proved in child by him, and is down by the greenwood sidey. She pitched her knee against a tree, all alone and so lonely, and there she found great misery. And it's down by the greenwood sidey. She leaned herself against a thorn. 
all alone and so lonely and there she has two babies born and it's down by the green wood sidey she drew the fillet off her head all alone and so lonely and there she bound the hands and legs down by the green wood sidey smile not so sweet my bonny babes all alone and so lonely if you smile so sweet you'll smile me dead and it's down by the green wood sidey she had a penknife long and sharp all alone and so lonely and she pressed it through the tender heart down by the green wood sidey she wiped the blood upon the grass all alone and so lonely the more she wiped the blood run fast and it's down by the green wood sidey she dug a grave beyond the sun all alone and so lonely and there she buried the sweet babes in and it's down by the green wood sidey she washed her hands all in the spring all alone and so lonely thinking to turn to a maid again and it's down by the green wood sidey as she was going by the church all alone and so lonely she saw two pretty babes in the porch and it's down by the green wood sidey as she came by her father's hall all alone and so lonely she seen two pretty babes playing at ball and it's down by the green wood sidey oh babes oh babes if you were mine all alone and so lonely i dress you in the silk so fine and it's down by the green wood sidey oh mother oh mother we once were thine all alone and so lonely you didn't dress us in coarse or fine down by the green wood sidey the coldest earth it was our bed all alone and so lonely the green grass was our coverlet down by the green wood sidey oh mother mother for your sin all alone and so lonely heaven's gate you shall not enter in down by the green wood sidey there is a fire beyond hell's gate all alone and so lonely and there you'll burn both early and late down by the green wood sidey